I think SBI tried to be smart. It uh, did this kind of invention. Uh, the order did not ask for uh, linking the linking each electoral bond with its buyer and the depositor political party. Uh, the court only directed that the buyer's data and the, uh, the depositor's data should be disclosed. They were not to be linked. And uh, uh, in my judgment, the SBI cannot actually link the uh, electoral bonds with the buyer and uh, the, 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 the depos depositing political party. And therefore, when SBI came up with this plea that we need time for linking this, that was uh, uh, a clever by half kind of uh, thinking. Uh, the SBI would never be able to do it. So the plea to my mind was uh, uh, basically to uh, get time uh, not to disclose the donors and the political party data until the election was over. So the um, Supreme Court, to my mind, rightly dismissed this uh, plea of the SBI. There was no justification in it and it deserved to be contemptuously dismissed. I was incidentally involved in uh, designing this scheme in 2018. Uh, it was notified when I was Secretary of Economic Affairs and therefore I have a very uh, deep interest in seeing that that scheme which was designed so carefully to bring uh, as much transparency to the political funding in the country is saved. And therefore, uh, I would have pleaded um, uh, uh, that the government actually went back to the Supreme Court to say that, all right, even if you uh, make it unconstitutional from time, uh, for times to come, what uh, the, uh, the data of the buyers, uh, especially because they were uh, acting under the statutory guarantee which was given, uh, that they can... Uh, did they provide the uh, the donation to which political party that would never be disclosed that was um, statutory guarantee that should be respected and uh, for the past action the uh, court should have been persuaded uh, not to allow this data to be disclosed uh, that is not for the SBI to do it SBI was only an agent of the government in implementing the scheme. So instead of SBI making this plea or inventing this excuse of delaying the uh, data, the government should have gone to the SBI uh, to the Supreme Court for not um, disclosing the uh, the data of the past uh, donations made. And we may revert back to the older system of cash donations, uh, which to my mind are the worst form um, no, of political donations. So if the consequence of this order is this, then possibly it's not great for the democracy. But of course, um, it improves the transparency into the system. What is more interesting in my judgment is what happens after 15. So the, the, the data which will attract best attention or most attention so to say is that who donated uh, right and people will then try uh, to uh, sort of link uh, who donated to whom that in my judgment would be a very difficult exercise almost impossible to do it but uh, nothing stops our imaginative inventive guys to come up with some linkages some formulas some algorithms to try to attempt or at least make conjectures about it. So that would be a very interesting uh, development. How how, do, uh, how does it go? And of course, there would be a political slugfest um, that if X kind of uh, industrialist or the company has given, the uh, speculations would be that this must have gone to this, etc. The companies might be put under some pressure to clarify uh, that if you had given this kind of donation, who did you give? That may be public pressure, that may be governmental pressure, that may be agencies. So there is a lot of um, uh, action uh, to come in times to come. And let's see, it should be an interesting, though to my mind, a bit pathetic, 
this is not uh, uh, what was intended when this scheme was brought in that the industrialist and the companies would be faced with a situation of uh, disclosing this and then trying to answer who did you give to and why did you give to that is uh, a very uh, very very difficult phase in our uh, national life